Hey there guys, welcome back to Arthur, King of the Bretons. I'm the Godless Gamer, your host through this series. Um, we are on episode 18. Uh, if you are noticing that um, I'm recording this episode, my internet is kind of mess messing around, but that's not going to be able to prevent me from recording our next episode and continuing from where we left off. The game is... we don't need internet right now. I'm going to need internet to upload the video, so... Hope we get that sorted out soon, but for now, welcome back to Camelot. Welcome back to the series, guys. Hope you've had a good couple of days. It was my birthday this past Monday, which is why I didn't put out an episode uh, yesterday. So I'm putting one out today. And uh, just in advance, if for anybody who says happy birthday, thank you. Uh, it's not required, guys. My, I'm giving you the presents, guys. This is I'm giving you another present of another episode in Arthur King of the Bretons. Now, before we go, before I unpause, I did want to kind of uh, explain some things. I want everybody to kind of get their bearings. We did just take control of a new ruler, and uh, we have some, there's some consequences as a result of that. So let's just go through the things that I wanted to point out one by one. I'll do it very quickly. The first thing is just with our new ruler. He is a witch, so... Uh, this is gonna make us suffer some opinion penalties from people. Anybody who's Breton right will suffer minus 15 from us. And this isn't his only secret. This is one secret that of his that's been revealed. He does have another secret. He's a deviant. And he has a lover. We can do something about the lover, but we can't do anything about the, the deviant secret. So, uh, <laughs> expect King Arthur to be, uh, to be exposed as a deviant. Um, it might not happen, but we're gonna have such a long life, and this is a permanent secret, so we're that's eventually gonna get exposed. So let's break up with our lover here. We don't want lovers. We we don't need any of that right now. We have a brand new wife who we love very much. We're gonna kick our lover to the our 71 year old lover. We're gonna kick her to the curb. Get out. I'm on the straight and narrow now. I love my wife, who we might romance soon, but right now, um, I have some opinion penalties because we're a new ruler. We have a liberty faction here who I need to improve the opinions of some people. Who am I swaying right now? I am swaying somebody who basically hates me. We're going to continue that. We need to pay attention to um, opinions because we're a new ruler. Another thing, another thing that I did want to point out, what was it? Um, oh, that's right. We are not illustrious yet. And once we become illustrious, we will be able to declare Duchy Cassisbelli. But we don't have it right now because we're not illustrious. So I'm going to hold off on conquering anything until we get that Cassisbelli back. So we have to wait until we're illustrious. So let's unpause. I'm going to leave it on speed four. We're going to kind of ease into this. We don't have any buildings that we need to build. Actually, I take that back. We have one building that we need to build. Right? Huh, I thought we had to build a building. Alright, maybe we don't have to. I'm sorry, guys. As it's tradition, on the day of the of the biggest of feasts of the new life festival, people all over High Rock celebrate Scour Day. Once the day that was reserved for cleaning up after the new life festivities, it is now a celebration on its own. Peasants, guests, courtiers, and rulers alike join in for cleaning contests, scrubbing marathons, and all sorts of fun activities on this day. So we had the bikini car washes. People uh, bring their uh, their horse and bug, uh, their horse and cart up to the bikini car wash, and the peasants. All right, we spend some prestige, but we're gonna relieve some stress. We are at stress level one, and we wanna not be at stress level one. <laughs> so let's enjoy the bikini peasants. I think I'm holding a feast right now, which is okay, but 
it's costing me 300 gold that I don't have. We're, that's okay. We can be in debt for a little bit. Oh, I won't let me because I don't have the money. So I have to take this stress. That's not great. I think, I think the reason I was holding this feast was to relieve some stress. And we got the opposite of what we wanted out of that. We did get some money, though. And now, now the Grovelers want to... I have a feeling these Grovelers are going to stress me out even more. But let's get them out of the way. Please don't stress me out. Please don't stress me out. Ooh, we have a stress relieving thing here. It's going to cost me 500 gold. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'll go into debt. That's fine. Burn this raving heretic. I can get some dread. And crop sharing. Perfect. That stress relief was totally worth that gold. It was expensive. 500 gold is pretty expensive, but... Factions are disbanding. That's good. So once we, we become illustrious, we're going to fight the next war. The next war is going to be with the Valley of Scars here. Um, I'm pretty sure I checked in the realm management. We're going to be creating one vassal. And we're going to have to fabricate a claim against this vassal in order to ro revoke their title. We're going to be creating an orc vassal, and we don't want that. But we're going to need an excuse to revoke her title, and... I need to fabricate a claim. I can't afford any inspirations right now. We're making plus 62 gold a month, and that's pretty good. Unfortunately, another thing I want to point out is that we are just, and getting hooks on people like we have been with our last couple of rulers it's not going to be easy with this ruler because because he's just. But I think I want to start accumulating some secrets, though. So I'm going to put my Spy Master on Fine Secrets. We want to be able to edit people's contracts, but we're going to have to do it very carefully. People are begging for artifacts? No, leave me alone. We're going to keep swaying this woman. This woman who's a vampire. She's 219. So we're immediately getting secrets on dukes. That's perfect. See, just let me show you because we're just. Let me just give you an example. In order to blackmail this guy, we're going to take stress because we're just. So we're going to have to be very picky and choosy about the secrets that we get hooks for. We're almost illustrious. It's just about to happen. And then we can declare this war. And my wife is pregnant with our very first child. And a holy order wants to set up shop somewhere. Let's check it out. Down in Hammerfell or in the city of Shornhelm. I can get 750 gold. It's basically for free. That's fine. I'll do it. This holy order wants some land. They can have it. There we go. Now we have 1300 gold. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure we have one building we need to build here. Yep, I was right. That's everything. No more buildings, guys. So we can just start saving up our money now. It's been building buildings that's been draining our money, but now that we don't have any buildings to upgrade, we can just save up money. Let's make sure we have our steward incre increasing the development.
we are now illustrious, so we can declare this war now. We got our Conquer Duchy Cassus Belly back. And... I was correct. The result of this war is going to be creating one vassal. So I will have to fabricate a claim. Another thing we have to keep in mind is that this is a tribal holding. The government here is tribal. So once we take control of this, we're going to have to convert it to feudal. I guess we don't have to technically do it ourselves, but because we have so much money, once we get this, let's spend some of the money that we're going to be accumulating and just feudalize it ourselves, just to make sure it gets done as quick as possible. So here we go. Let's declare this war. First war of the episode. I'm going to use my court mage, who is my mom. Oh no, we can do some rituals. Let's get that done first. I can't do any because I don't have any magic skills. But we're going to get our mom, who is our court mage. She's going to summon a Daedra on me. Which will increase my Arcana, Prowess, and Natural Dread. And then we're also going to have her cast Resilience on me. For five years, I get a small health boost. Let's put her to work. Can she do anything else? Nope, not really. Nothing practical for me right now. We got a stewardship challenge. We learned a secret against who? He's just my vassal. He's an extended family member. We got an incestuous secret. Oh no. We got a great deal. Alright, so far so good. I'm liking how this episode is starting. And watch, because I said that, something awful is gonna happen. Somebody's plotting against me, see, right? See, this is what I get for being optimistic. Somebody's trying to claim my throne. 33% chance of success. Let's put our Spy Master on Disrupt Schemes. Is that going to help at all? Nope. That Liberty Faction is gone. Let's move our steward again. Do I need to increase the control anywhere? No. I'm going to start fabricating this claim here, now. The sooner I get it started, the better. Alright, so we just had a son. My first child is my son. I highly doubt this kid is ever going to become my heir, because I'm probably going to have way better children later in my life. Let's check him out. How did he turn out? He didn't get an extended lifespan. So I, there's a possibility I could outlive my son. He doesn't have any lifespan modifier, whereas I'm lifespan too. So this son might die before I do. But okay, that's fine. He has some inheritable traits here. 
He got the tower. Let's give him a random name. I don't think I, he deserves to be named Arthur. Let's name him another one of his knights. We can have a Lancelot. There we go. And uh, here we go. We're going to have a birthday party, which is going to give us a completely useless gift. Because all the gifts that we get during birthday parties pretty much suck now. Uh, not great. We gotta march around this mountain range. But that's a They might get this holding before we get there. Yeah, it looks like they will, but that's okay. We're about to take their capital. So we do go into the red when we have our armies fully mustered. So we have to be careful not to... We have to be careful not to declare a war when we have very little gold. We are going to finish the administrator tree. And then I might go into, into diplomacy. I want to get my... My favorite two perks in diplomacy. Groom to rule and befriend. So we took one holding. We are over our domain limit, but we have stuff that we can give away, right? Right, okay. We have to give away a duchy first. Let's do that. We have to create a new one. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. We have a temple holding as the county capital. We, that means it's castle build in time. Let's build a castle. We can give away another piece while we wait for this to get built. So we're going to wait for this fabricate claim on county task to get done, and then we're going to revoke this person's title. As you can see, I can't revoke it here. Even though she's a different religion, I can't revoke it for free. And this is an act of tyranny, so I need this claim. Because my army is still pretty much full strength and we do still have money, I'm going to declare another war very quickly. We're going to fight Ashwambu for this duchy here. And I think we're also going to create some vassals here as well. Yes, we're going to be creating two. Two counts that we're going to have to revoke their titles. So these are two more claims that we're going to have to fabricate. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. It's going to be a slow process because we have to wait for this task. But we're still getting land. That's what's important. We're still conquering land and growing our realm. This claim the throne against me just went up to 75%. This person's getting this claim. There's no doubt about it. I don't have to I don't have to keep swaying this woman anymore. Let's get this liberty faction. Oh nope, this is the orc that we're gonna revoke her title. I don't care about her opinion. Let's take care of this powerful vassal here. Or do you know what? Before we increase anybody's opinion, I do want to. I did want to do one thing since we're going into the Hammerfell. 
I don't know the Hammerphalic religion, or not uh, religion, the language. It's Tamrielic Yoku. Let's learn this language. Before we keep swaying people, this kind of takes a little bit. It takes like a few months. But let's get it out of the way. Once we learn the language, we're good. Let's fight them before they take this. I figured they would run. We just annihilated their army and got it all the way up to 50% war score. Taking their capital should end it. Uh, I do have some stress that I need to relieve, but I don't want to host a feast to relieve it. If I become a reveler, guys, if I become an eager reveler, I won't be able to embrace celibacy, and that is something that I want to try to eventually do. So I'm hoping that we can relieve stress another way soon. Two years, I can call another hunt. Do I have a jester? Let's make sure we have a jester. Yeah, we have a jester. We just got our next Dynasty Legacy. We're going to continue going down the glory line. I do want to finish this. Getting this Vassal Limit plus 10. Short reign duration, minus 20%. Vassals are less likely to join Claimant Factions and Liberty Factions. I really like the glory line, especially towards the end of it. The, the perks get really good. Righteousness, General Opinion plus 10. This will help with, with opinions, uh, just in case our secret gets out. You know, so we're going to need to try to boost people's opinions of us as best that we can. And, and right when I say that, my vassal has revealed my secret for the world to see. My unnatural lust and uncontrollable desires are widely known and accepted as fact. So this guy just revealed my secret, which is going to affect people's opinions of me. Um, I've been ousted as a deviant, so Breton right opinion minus 15. My stress loss does improve, plus 25%. That was our only secret, guys. That's the only other secret that we got. We have no other secrets, so that's good. Everything's out there for everybody to see. All of our we have no more skeletons in our closet unless we create some, but because I'm in control of this guy, we will make sure he doesn't get any more secrets. So we created two more vassals here. We're definitely going to have to do something about that as soon as we can. Two more years until this castle is built. Let's give away the duchy capital here. Um, the duchy capital, uh, Ronnie Za. Let's see if we can give it to a dynasty member. This looks like an extended family member. Yeah, this is just an extended distant relation. I can land her. That's fine. It's safe to land her. I don't know if I'm going to have a hook on her, though. I don't. That's okay. She is a dynasty member, and that will improve my renown. And she will become a duchess soon. 
Okay, we have some prisoners to take care of. And executing them, unfortunately, is not going to be an option that we can just do willy-nilly. Because we're just, and we need to make sure we're not taking a lot of stress. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Maybe I can relieve some stress this way. Let's walk out. Let's walk out of our castle and then walk right back in. Let's go to Camelot. This is the cheapest one, so we're just going to do that. Maybe we can relieve some stress this way. Our level of devotion went back up. It's it's our way of making up for the fact that we're a deviant. So at least our level of devotion went back up. One more year until we can go on a hunt and then relieve some more stress. We learn that language. Maybe we can learn the Orcish language. Tamriel like Yoku pretty much takes care of all of Hammerfell. And we definitely have room for languages. But I want to learn one that's going to be practical for us. Would it be practical to learn Orcish? The Iron Orcish language? Screw it. I'm not wasting my time. Is Mountain Orc a different... Orcish language? Iron... Yes, those, so there's a distinction. There's two different Orcish languages. All of these are Tamriel and Kyoku. Alright, so we don't need to learn any other ones right now. I don't need to learn Orcish. I was just thinking about it. Let's get back to swaying people. This woman's gonna hate us no matter what. This Orcish woman, but that's okay. Not much we can do about that, because we are going to revoke her title. I think our next war is going to be with... We can fight two simultaneous wars here for this county and this county. And then we're going to have to fight Stone Stonedale because they own two counties in the Duchy of Skaven. Which is awesome for all you um, Warhammer fans. The Skaven. It's actually one of my favorite races in Warhammer. <clears throat> but anyway. We have to fight three individual wars to get this Duchy. But these two will be easy, so I guess we can do that. Let's save up some money first. Let's let some time. Let's wait until this is done. Let's revoke this title, get this duchy under control, and then we'll start doing these wars. Let's be patient. Let's be patient with our wars. I want to have a good amount of money in the bank. Somebody's trying to seduce me. Uh, I don't blame them, but we are not gonna. We don't want secrets. I'm tempted to host a feast, but I really don't want to become a reveler. Our hunt is coming up. Just one more year. 
And I'm hoping in the meantime we're gonna get some kind of stress relieving event, like my Jester's gonna fart or something. Come on. What are you doing, Jester? What am I paying you for? Somebody, this guy was trying to murder my wife. No, my wife is scheming against this guy. I won't accuse my wife. I wouldn't, I'm not going to accuse my wife. I'm going to stand by her. Always. Unless she really messes up somehow. So we've got plenty of money. Let's declare these two wars. Let's get these two counts before somebody else gobbles them up. And I think we can hire a holy order for free. Yes, we absolutely can. We're going to get almost 6,000 more men. We're probably not going to need them. We're definitely not going to need them. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. My jester is going to tell me a joke. There's a risk that I'll die. 1% chance. I'm willing to risk it. I want to I want to reduce my stress. There we go. There we go, we got that claim. We finished the claim on this. Let's move her to her new to her new task, taking the taking the titles from these people. It's gonna take three years for these, which isn't great, but not much I can do about it. It's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. And I don't have the ability to befriend my realm priest yet to speed up that task. We can call this next hunt soon. Here we go, there we go. Get some stress relief. As I'm sitting and meditating on the finer points of Breton Wright, I cannot help but think back to when I journeyed to Camelot on pilgrimage. What do you mean, like the one yesterday? This trip was far from the quotidian comforts of my life as High King, but the relief I felt upon arriving at Camelot made it all worth the trouble. There we go. Relieving some more stress. My son wants to be bossy. That's perfect. Let's educate him ourselves and give him a stewardship education. Executing is just not in the cards anymore, which is really unfortunate, but at least we can get hooks and stuff. It's, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss chopping off heads off. I'm gonna I'm just, uh, just the arbitrary executions that I love so much. I'm not going to become reclusive. And I'm not converting. I'm not gaining another secret. We're just going to take some more stress. And I'm only going to be relieving 35. Why? Why? I have a master of hunt, so he should be helping my hunts.
My endless service servants improve my hunts. So we're doing kind of all we can with stress relief. Are we just going to be teeter-tottering on the on stress level 1? Is that what's happening right now? We're going to have to do whatever we can to relieve stress. Any event. Any event that we get, no matter, even if it costs us money or something, we have to prioritize relieving stress. This is kind of taking a little bit. I guess this castle must be really highly developed. Castle level 2. Not bad. Let's hope that this battle ends it. Please? Nope. Thank you, wife. I needed that. I'm considering romancing my wife. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to romance my wife because she just helped me out. She's considered a criminal? What is she? She's a known criminal. Yeah, let's be nice to her. Let's grant her a pardon. And that's a romancer. Hey, that's the best way to start any romance scheme. You grant your... You grant her a, a pardon. Let's become her soulmate. Our domain limit went up by one. That means that this castle is done. Let's make this the capital. Bada bing, bada boom. My army has taken some attrition. It's not great, but I think we should be able to win against this guy now. This is only castle level one, so the siege won't take as long as the other one did. Vassals are less likely to join independence factions. That's a beautiful thing. We need to replace our spy master.
Yeah, this war was much easier. This is just a pretty badass castle that they got built up here. No wonder it took so long. Skaven. So we just... Uh, <clears throat> this uh, county has two holdings in it. It is also... One of the holdings is not feudal. This is a tribal holding. It's not a feudal holding. It would cost me 500 gold to, va to feudalize it. Let's wait. You know what? I'm gonna be over my domain limit by two for just a little bit. <laughs> it was me. I farted. Let's let's take the heat for our wife. I think the last <laughs> I think the last couple of times this event has happened, I I was like, no, I'm not gonna take the blame for my wife's fart. But the success chance needs some help, so let's. Let's take the blame for my wife farting. She owes me big time. Got a bunch of goblins in my prison. I'm gonna revoke this title. This will help me with my domain limit. I, I don't want to be over my domain limit right now. It's affecting how much money I can make. So let's revoke this title. She's definitely not gonna accept, so we're absolutely gonna have to fight her. Another duke rose up against me? Really? Wow. All right. She became my soulmate. Perfect. So we got another rebellious little duke here. We're going to have to see what we can do about him. All we have to do is win this, this take this holding, <clears throat> and we'll win. So the guy, he's going to have to sail all the way over here to help. I'm now known as Goldtooth. I think my last ruler had that nickname too. went I just need to do something very quickly I need to give away this duchy title so I can create the next one which is this one are gonna give this away really just to help my domain limit a little bit while we're fighting this war
That helped a little. I would love to fight a battle, but I don't know where their armies are. And I don't want to sail my dudes all the way over here. But it, we might have to. And then we are about to go into debt, which isn't great. Just to be sh just to be on the safe side. Just to make sure they don't take the war target back, let's send an army back, and then we can have one army go take care of these fools. So yeah, we are going to be in debt for a little bit, which isn't great. I've got a nephew here I can give it away to. He is in my dynasty. He's the founder of my dynasty? What are you talking about? Never mind. Alright, I'm really not enjoying that we're in debt, but it's kind of what's happening. We just went into the next cultural era, so we're in the time of pretenders now, so we can finally start researching things in this, uh, in the, in the time of pretenders. We have a couple that we want to finish in the early interregnum, but at least we know now that we have a whole bunch of new technologies to research. Let's end this war so I can get money. I can borrow gold from a holy order. I'm doing it. I'm borrowing some money, and then I'll easily be able to repay it once we're out of debt. I just need a little bit of financial assistance. My friend just died, which just bumped my stress up a whole bunch. Somebody's trying to claim my throne. 90% chance.
I can't assault the fort. Come on, let's just end this war. Hurry up. Army's taking a lot of attrition. We're gonna be fine, the war's gonna end. Go away. I pay 300 gold, I go into debt again, but I don't want to take critical amounts of stress here. Damn it, we're in debt. All right, that war was a pain in the butt. Give me this title. I had to work so damn hard for it. Give me this title. I could revoke this guy's title if I want to. Because he rebelled against me. He will accept. Absolutely. This is what happens when you rebel against me. You get your land taken away from you. I'm going to get 200 gold for ransoming this pe these people. So that's really nice. We're going to give this away to somebody else. Give it to somebody who actually deserves it. We'll give them the duchy title. And then we have to... F oh, no. He took their... He took his vassal with him. There we go. Uh, I want to I want to feudalize this holding before I give it away. I do have to repay this loan eventually. Uh, you know what? We can create a vassal here. I want to be able to feudalize this as well, but... I guess I technically don't have to do it myself. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being a little indecisive. If I give this away, will this go away? It does. All right, that's fine. This person's going to become a duke in the future. I need money now. No more declaring wars. I need to get my money reserves back up. We declared a bunch this episode. We are almost at an hour. Maybe we'll get one more, but let's save up some money first. Why am I only getting 20?
Let's finish the last two here in the early interregnum, just these last two. Get our administrator perk, finally, and now we're going to jump into the uh, diplomacy lifestyle. We're going to get befriend and groom to rule. Not making a lot of money. Maybe it's because of that that loan. Oh no, here we go. Went up to 38. That's better. I don't want to forget to replay, repay this loan. We can recruit this guy to court. All right, that's fine. Let's get him married off. I can make this guy my bodyguard. He's got 42 prowess, sure. No, he will serve as my personal champion. Which one is it? Is it going to be my bodyguard or is it going to be my personal champion? The consequences says he's going to be my bodyguard, so whatever. That's fine. We can also hold court and listen to grovelers, but uh, I want some money first before I let that happen. Being in debt was not fun. So let's save up money. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on the wars, guys. I don't think we're going to declare another war. We're almost at an hour. Let's save up money that we can pay off that, that loan. We can revoke the two titles from these vassals here. Now we're at plus 51. There we go. Now my money's starting to go up. That's more like it. Maybe I'll do these two revoke titles before I end the episode. Let's go to speed five. Ooh, we got 300 gold there. <clears throat> Thank you, wife dearest. Wifey dearest. My son wants to be ambitious, sadistic, or paranoid. He can be ambitious. We got the 750 gold that we need to repay the loan, so let's get that out of the way. There we go. Let's collect a little bit more money, then we can hold hold court, and then we will revoke these two titles, and then I'll end the episode, guys. So we got a we got a bunch more conquest this episode. Which I'm really glad about. The beginning of the next episode is definitely gonna be this war with Ajwambu. We have no truce with them anymore. We'll only be creating one vassal here. All right, so we know what we're doing next episode. I don't know how we're starting it off. Let's hold court. We have enough money now, at least. At least I think we have enough money now. You never know with these with these grovelers how much they're gonna want from you. I can get a strong hook on somebody. Yeah. Okay. 
You must return your plunder. I get minus stress. And my hands are full. So we have no more stress. That's perfect. So we've got a decent amount of money now. Now we can do these uh, these revo title revocations. Which I would like to do. Hopefully we don't have any complications and somebody else is going to rise up like that other guy did. That other duke. I think we should be okay. Let's just be careful and let's do these one at a time. really hoping no, uh, nobody else in my realm rises up. This guy is going to accept. That's a good sign. Perfect. What about you? Are you just going to accept? Are you just going to roll over? Yep, she is. This holding has a temple holding as, as its capital. Let's build a castle. And this holding has a city as its holding, so we need to build another castle. So I need to give something away. I'm going to save up very quickly just to make sure I get this castle built so I don't forget it. Come on, baby. Just need 34 more gold. There we go. Perfect. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is going to be it for now. There are things that I can feudalize. I'm going to have to remember to do that. This one right here we have to do. Alright, everybody. Not a bad episode. I didn't like that we went into debt. And we had some other things happen, like his deviant... My ruler's deviant secret got revealed. We did have a son. We had a we had a son, we, so we have an heir. So some good things happened. We do have to worry about our gold income... We do have to worry about stress. We do have to worry about opinions. So just a lot to worry about, guys. Let's see. We do have this Liberty faction that needs to be taken care of. But we will take care of all of that. So, in my opinion, not bad. Not a bad episode. We um, got some more Conquest. We always get Conquest. And I think we got a good amount in this one. And I'm looking forward to more in the next one. So, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up at the bottom of the video. Sub to the channel if you have not yet. And don't forget to leave those comments, guys. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. The next episode is uh, going to come out as soon as possible, I promise. But until then, have a good one, guys.